Hey everyone, hope you all had an amazing Christmas. I just wanted to squeeze one last quick video out before the end of the year, just to go through what Santi brought, uh, what pickups we got the last couple of weeks of the year. And I even managed to squeeze in just a tiny little bit of game hunting. So we're gonna get started with that and then we'll go through all the pickups then when we get back. Yeah, so some very quick game hunting footage this time, uh, but successful though, like we got a nice little pile. So I'm just gonna go through what I got very quickly because I have a clatter load of stuff here to go through. So I don't wanna be here all night. Um, we went to, we just went to two charity shops and that first one uh, we had nothing, but second one we got a nice little pile. Uh, so I picked up a Modern Warfare 2 for a Euro. Uh, I'm not certain I have this one already, so this would just be a quick trader. Uh, and then there was 10 Wii games. Well, there was about 13 or 14. There was a few Wii plays. There was a couple missing discs and stuff like that. Uh, we picked up 10, uh, all euro each, so 10 euro all in, but we got a copy of Sega Bass Fishing, a copy of Wally. this is actually one that I might have shown in the last video that I got in the 24 games of Christmas in the stocking, uh, so that's another one for the trade pile, uh, CSI Crime Scene Investigation Hard Evidence, I'm sure that's an absolute belter, uh, Sean White Snowboarding, we might actually give that one a crack, some of the snowboarding games can be quite good, uh, Shrek the Third. That's actually worth a few bobs, so that could be a good one as well. Uh, another double up, Big Brain Academy. Pretty sure I have that already, so again, we'll either trade it or use the case, because there's a nice case on that. Uh, Lego Indiana Jones. I must really have all the Lego games on me at this stage, uh, but definitely didn't have an Indiana Jones one, so that's nice to have. Uh, a copy of SpongeBob's Atlantis Square Pantis. Um, I need a new copy. Uh, it was a copy of Wii Sports. Um, unfortunately, it's not the original cover. Uh, someone printed it out, but it does have a manual in it and it's the original disc. So we'll still get a pretty good trade out of that one. Um, I actually have, uh, I do have one of these in the collection. So I might even just throw the disc and the manual into it and try and maximize the amount we can get for trade on it because I'm sure that's something that I'll find at some stage again. At least it's gonna come down anyway because I think it's trading for 20 quid still at the moment. So probably be mad not to cash in on that. 
And then last but not least, a copy of Carnival Funfair Games. There was two of these on the shelf. The first one I picked up felt a bit light, so I opened it. There was no disc, so I put it back. I picked up the second one. I had a little bit of weight to it, but when I went to check it, there was no disc in it. But it had two manuals, so that's what caught me out. Um, so, I don't know. Look, we'll, I think we actually might have this one already, so we'll just hold on to it. We might find a loose disc copy one day, and we'll be able to complete it. Um, while I was in there, I picked up one more. I showed in the last one, I picked up a few punk, uh, Funko Pops that I was thinking about maybe trying to sell on to get some money for the game fund. Uh, so there was one more in there. It was Jughead Jones. Again, a quick search just showed me that it's probably going to sell for 20 quid and they were all priced for seven. I actually took a quick video. There's, there was about 10 or 12 of them unboxed in a little tray. So I'll throw that in up here. Uh, so if anyone sees something that's worth that, let me know. Um, I might go back next week, they might still have them, but if not, it'd be nice to sort of know going forward uh, what's worth what, because I know nothing about Pops. Um, but moving on, uh, yeah, I mentioned the 24 games of Christmas there. Uh, the last video we showed, I think it was the first 10 games that came out of Stocking. So there was another 14 to come out. Uh, this was something I just did over on Instagram every day. I just had 24 games in the Stocking that I picked up over the last few months, just randomly picked one out and showed it. Uh, so these are all going to go into the collection now. Uh, so the first one I have in front of me, this is one of my favourite bits that I picked up. This was a copy of R-Type for the SNES. Uh, one I absolutely loved playing uh, growing up when I was a kid. So this is definitely like one straight into the buying back my childhood collection. Uh, we got Rampage Total Destruction for the Wii. These are all complete, uh, unless I'm going to say they're missing something. Uh, and most of them are in very good condition as well. So. Uh, not bad because a lot of these were like CEX roulette. I literally just picked them up online and hoped for the best. So uh, we have Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince for the Wii. Uh, Killzone 2 for the PS3. This was like 50 cent and it's actually a class game. So why not? Uh, we got Star Wars Force Unleashed complete. Uh, Dragon Blade Rat of Fire. I don't actually know an awful lot about it, but it does look quite interesting. So we'll definitely have to give this one a, a lash. Uh, we've got Carnival Games Mini Golf. Love these little silly sort of mini game sort of things. They're great just for a quick sit down and play for half an hour, so that'll definitely get a go. Uh, and then a PS2 copy of Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. Uh, keep him till the end. We got Star Wars The Clone Wars. For me, that one actually has no manual. Uh, the Blob 2. Another one I haven't played, but actually looks quite interesting, so we give that a lash. Uh, one of the other heavy hitters from the stocking was Star Fox Adventures for the GameCube. Delighted to have that one for the collection. I just love picking up GameCube stuff. Um, we got a copy of Heavy Rain for the PS3. Bit of an odd looking one this. I think it's like a, one of these story mode things where you can pick one scenario and it affects how the whole story plays out. So uh, I don't know. I think it's one of those that you either love or hate. People seem to kind of rave about it or say it's brutal online. So um, Then we got two Commodore 64 games. We got Dizzy's Fast Food and Fire Lord. Just love picking up C64 games, they're just pure nostalgia. And then day 24, the last out of the stocking was Instant Sports Tennis for the Switch. Uh, these were actually going in Lidl, I think they were doing them for like 20, 25 quid. So like little sets. Um, you don't have a cart with it, but it gives you a game code, but it actually gives you the case, so I kind of like that. Um, so we give this a go, like it's got the accessories, the little tennis racket and stuff like that. So we'll have a bit of fun with that one night. Um, what is next? I'll leave all the Santi stuff to last. Um, but a bit more, I wouldn't call it game hunting, I'd probably call it more game sniffing. Um, I mentioned about five months ago on the video that I actually came away from like my mother-in-law's 60th with games. Because uh, you have to be ruthless, you know, when you go to people's houses, if you see games sitting around, I always ask about them. Uh, but I was in my brother's house on Christmas Day, just talking about games and stuff, and he pulled out this little pile of PS3 games. They used to have a PS3 at the house, they don't have one anymore. Uh, so we just thought I could do something with them. Uh, so we got a copy of Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. Uh, Gran Turismo 5 Academy Edition. I actually had this already. This is one I picked up in a charity shop in Kilkenny months ago. Again, one I probably showed in one of the very first game hunting videos. So we'll get that in for trade. Uh, we've got Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. I have played the first one of this. I haven't played any more. And I believe this one's actually class. So uh, we're looking forward to give that one a go. Uh, you Draw Studio Instant Artists, we'll say no more. Uh, a copy of GTA 4, the Platinum Edition. Uh, but that's complete. That's a nice one for the collection. And one that we actually already have is Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City. Uh, this came with the map and the manual, but it had the wrong disc in the box. Uh, but if you're going to get a wrong disc, there's nothing wrong with getting Minecraft for the PS3. 
will sell or trade that and over and get a few bob back for it. So delighted to get them. Uh, so moving on to, I say the Santi stuff, this is pretty much what uh, other people in my family got me. Um, so let's see. Hey, so the parents-in-law got me this deadly switch charging dock. I'm not actually sure whether to use it to actually charge uh, my Joy-Cons because I do keep the switch downstairs with the big telly. But I think this would be pretty cool for display and I've got loads of different Joy-Cons so I'm still kind of on the fence what to do with that. Uh, but they gave me that on a CX voucher so that's class. We'll do something with that at the start of the year. Um, then my sister-in-law, Kalina, got me this class. Uh, Mario Prana plant lamp. I uh, can't wait to find the spot in the game room for that, so thanks, Cleaner. And then Mrs. Retro Games Ireland absolutely nailed the presents as she always does this year. Uh, got me a little hammerhead figure for that little Mario uh, figures collection that I have, which was deadly. We got this really cool Hyrule Crest lamp. This is class, I think there's going to be a spot right behind my head for it there. Um, it probably won't show up here much. It does light up at the back, so when you have it up against the wall, it sort of stands out. It's really cool. Uh, so another deadly piece for the for the game room to display. Uh, and then she got me two of these. I showed that instant super, instant sports tennis, and she actually got me two more from that range. A uh, copy of Chicken Range, which I've actually seen some footage of, and it actually looks really good. It's just a nice little handy fun shooter. Uh, I do like the look of the gun as well, so it'd be nice to have something for playing sort of shooter style games on the Switch. Uh, and then Super Street Racer, one I don't really know too much about, but it's got a nice little wheel accessory. So, again, man child, I just love playing with these little, you know, different accessories and stuff like that. We're great crack with them. And then I think I've covered everything, last but not least, uh, one that I probably dropped a hint about it, I knew it was coming, but um, it's the Zelda Game and Watch, which I'm absolutely delighted to have. Uh, this is not staying sealed like some of my stuff, this one has already been opened. It's already been played and I just, I'm probably showing it off to everyone that already has it, but uh, just love it. It takes me right back to like all the old handhelds I used to play, like you know the Tiger handhelds and stuff like that. I uh, used to live on them as a kid. If I wasn't inside playing my SNES, I was outside with my friends playing them on you know, sitting on the wall somewhere. So just instant nostalgia getting that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all our pickups for December. Um, Sorry, I'm struggling to get this back in the box and I don't want to crease it, so there we go. Yeah. Yeah, so look, I know I tore through all that stuff, but I just wanted to really quickly show what we got. Um, and just do a quick thank you to everyone that's uh, helped support the channel over the year. I think we started back probably in April, but only really started posting videos last June or July. Uh, really didn't think I'd manage to get 10 squeezed out before the end of the year. Really didn't think I'd end up with a couple of hundred subscribers at the end of it. Uh, so I just want to say a very special thank you to everyone that's uh, subscribed to the channel, that's commented, liked, supported me from the start. Uh, I've made some really good friends out of this. And really looking forward to what 2022 will bring. Uh, so I just want to say best wishes to everyone out there. I hope you all have a great 2022. Um, we'll be back probably, hopefully first or second week in January. I'm going to do some more game hunting. I want to do a quick update on what's in the game collection. Because next year I really want to focus on what we have, um, you know, taking some stuff off for trade and just basically, you know, video by video showing how we're slowly building the collection up. Yes, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to getting out there in 2022 uh, making some videos and just seeing where the year takes us. So, uh, again, just thanks so much. Happy New Year to everyone and we'll see you all in 2022. Cheers.